equity that I'm going to tell you about, it has to deal with the Powerball and lotteries, which okay. I actually think that my uh, stance on it is I'm uh, personally not in favor of it. I, I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not on board. But I thought it was fascinating. So there's these companies that are... There's two of them in the space. So basically, the way it works is there's two major lotteries. There's the Powerball and Mega Millions. And then each state has a state-run lottery. Okay? Yep. And the way it works is you go to the 7-Eleven, you go wherever, and you buy a ticket. So there's this company that I just started talking to. They're, they're called Spins. Um, and what they do slips. is... Sorry, Slips. Spins. Slips. So you know, have you heard of this? Or you see? did I write it down? I talked to them a bunch of months ago, and I talked about them on the pod already. <laughs> but you Not did? Not first bubble, but, but, but I did talk about it. But we could do it again. That's okay. The I don't remember you telling me about them. That's okay. Most people probably don't. Um, but how did you hear about Slips? I, I thought know. they just I, launched like a month, like this month. It's been on test flight for a long time. So I used it on test what? flight. It's, Is that I thought what it was you really do? Clever. It? So, so Is it explain why it's clever. Dude, yeah. I feel the wind was blown out of my sails just now. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll give you a minute to recover. No, I want, you, I want you to explain now because <laughs> you're good okay, at it. So I'll, I'll try to remember. So basically, um, a lot of people play the lottery. Typically, you go to a 7-Eleven or a gas station or something. You buy it. What these guys did was they let you play the lottery from your phone legally. How do they do that? Well, basically, wherever you are, you'll say, I'd like to buy a lottery ticket. And then they will physically go send somebody to a gas station. They'll buy the lottery ticket. Uh, so it's sort of like there's a task rabbit essentially that'll go buy the lottery ticket in person for you because you can't actually buy them online. They'll buy it. They'll take a photo of it. They'll sort of custody it online and, and give it to you. And, um, and so that's how they kind of bypass the rules around buying lottery, like running an online lottery. You can't run an online lottery, but you can pay somebody to go buy the ticket and then they can give you the ticket. Um, and that's like their two-step process. Did I get I it right? I think that's brilliant. You got it brilliant. Yeah. Or you got it right. And I think that's brilliant. I think it's brilliant because I never would have thought about that. And it's the easiest possible solution. And, Again, and by the way, I, I think they simplified it even further where they just paid the guy at the gas station to be the task rabbit. So now they don't even dispatch somebody. They're just like, hey, when this thing rings, that's, uh, that's somebody paying you to buy a lottery ticket. Uh, and you pay like a little premium on top of what the lottery ticket is. And that's the kind of like service surcharge, which might be like 25 cents or a dollar or something. It's not like... Percentage wise, it's pretty significant, but it's not a huge amount of money. So people don't care. It's like, ah, it's more convenient because they can, I can get a push notification and it says the lottery is $200 million today. Would you like a ticket? And you just say, kind of like, yes. And that's, that's low friction. Uh, I was saying they have subscription, they have a bunch of stuff. But when I was talking to this guy, I was thinking there's a few, I was thinking of the pros and cons. So, pros of this business, it's going to get big fast. <laughs> Yeah, I can see it getting big fast. That's the only pro. <laughs> that's a big pro. A big In the pro. world of business, that's, that's the main pro. <laughs> that's the main pro. There are so many things about why it won't work. Well, are, are you like, why it won't work? Are you saying basically like ethically I have a problem with this? or are Well, you no, that's just saying, one of the nope, many things. So like, I, I wouldn't say ethically I have a problem, but I would have to ask myself how I feel about that. So, like I would have to think about it. So in one regard, it's like I don't buy the lottery and I don't want like if you don't have a lot of money, I don't think you should buy the lottery. That said, who am I to tell you what to buy? And also if you want to spend I go to the casino and I like to spend $50 and that's fun. So like right. who am I to say what's like who am I to judge? But the second thing, I would imagine an app like this would have very similar economics at, or not similar economics, but similar growth tactics as like a mobile game, which means you have to be super aggressive about uh, customer acquisition, and if Facebook, Google, or that pretty much that, that's it. If they ban you, you're fucked. Yes, that's that's a legit problem for this. And that might be the the big the two biggest. What's they, the, they, the, they the, also I think had some social feature that was like if you and your friend you and your friends can kind of like share it. You could split tickets or something like that. Like did they they brought all the offline things where like you know an office pools together and buys a hundred tickets and then they agree to split the money. I think they brought brought that into it. So it, it's a nice app. I, I liked the idea. I liked the idea a lot. Um, but I just you know whatever. There was a whole bunch of reasons why I decided not to invest. But I, I just thought it was. Uh, I think it's a clever idea and I've been looking at this for years. So to your question of how do I find this is because for years I've been thinking about how, are you, how would you bring the lottery online? And I've talked to many people who claimed they could do it legally and it wasn't actually legal or it was only legal in one state to do it that way. And they were hoping all the other states caught on. 
And so I've just been keeping an eye out for rule changes. And that's kind of a theme. Like we talked about the name and uh, the NIL thing for the for college athletes, name, image, and likeness. Rule change equals opportunity. I have another rule change I'm going to do today. Um, that's another opportunity. But this is this is a, an example of one of those types of businesses. You want to talk about?